Welcome to compilation number four of the Quarter Album Fill series. This is going to be episode uh, 151 through 200 of quarters that fill and upgrade the album. Uh, do try to update and put out co uh, quarter album fills as we go along, so do stay tuned for more of those. I'm currently about 217 episodes in, and uh, the next uh, compilation will come when I hit 250, if I ever get there, or... Everything will be compiled into one giant compilation once I finish with the series. So do sit back, relax, and enjoy this uh, uh, trip down uh, the next 50 coins for the album. If you haven't seen the other compilations, I'll put a link to a playlist or something up here for you can check out. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. We'll have to do a breakdown of where the album is soon, but until then, let's keep adding quarters. Today's quarter is a 1969. This one is a Philly. Um, it does have a little scratch there on the surface of the coin there on the head, and it it's, does have some circulation, but it is fairly decent shape and will fill another spot. And here we go. Let's drop that in, and that fills another spot. This album is filling up nicely. We'll have to take a look at it here soon. Today's quarter for the quarter album. We have a pretty nice 1990. This one is a Philadelphia. The surfaces look a little suspect. Doesn't quite look polished. Maybe it got heated, maybe in a dryer or something. But it has great detail and it is in pretty nice shape. We're gonna fill the spot and uh, keep our eye out for a nicer one. Okay, here is the spot. Let's drop that in. And that is a pretty nice 1990 going in the album. Filling up these spots. Let's keep on going. We have a special quarter going in our album today. The only place you can get it is in this 1976 Bicentennial Silver Uncirculated set. This isn't a proof. This is a special quarter that is a business strike and is 40% silver. This one is in quite nice shape. And thankfully we don't have to cut this one out because I was finally able to secure one at a coin shop. This one, while not quite as nice as the one that's still in this package, it still has a lot of nice luster and is in quite nice shape. It would still be graded as a mint state Although a little bit lower than the one in the package. I'm gonna drop that in and boom, fill that last 1976 spot. Now it was hard for me to find one of these already opened out of the package, and I'm glad I did. This is the iconic bicentennial design and the last one we needed to fill a spot in the album. It's time to add the silver proofs to our album. This is the 92 here. This one is quite nice shape. I was able to pick all these up for a good price from a coin shop, so I figured it was time to place them in the album. All right, here we go. Put this one in here, and we're going to do the 93 tomorrow, and we will continue on in date order. That is a very nice, beautiful proof, and it is silver on top of that. Very cool. The next silver proof to go on our album, we have a 93S. This one has some toning on it. This one was in an album there, and it has some toning on the edges, uh, on the sides, on the edges there. But the back is pretty clean. So that is going to fill the next spot in our album. Let's go ahead and put it in. Here we go. This is the last silver proof spot on this page. And here we have the 93 silver proof in the album. That's two of the silvers in the album. We got four more left to go. Let's keep on going. Today's silver proof. We have a 94 going to date order. This one is quite nice. The fills are really clean. And that uh, deep cameo finish there is really nice. The reverse looks just as nice. Let's add this to the album and make it look that much better. And here we go. This is the final page of the album. And one of the very few coins we have left to fill. That is a really nice addition to the album. 
very cool adding silver especially newer proof silver to the album next silver proof for the album 1995 this is another very nice high quality proof we're going to toss in the album let's go ahead and put this one in as well here we go we are getting this album filled up nicely 95 there's 94 95 tomorrow's 96 let's keep on plugging away with these silver proofs next up in the silver proofs 1996 another beautiful silver quarter for the album and another for the last page let's toss this one in and just keep on filling these proofs these silver proofs very nice coins to add okay let's drop this one in the spot and it's always great when you add that silver proof to the album 1996 here's the proof it's got a nice little tone on it but this one is made out of silver very cool the last and final date of the silver proofs in this album is the 98 now i have some bad news i did not get the 97 so um i am short one silver proof so i have to get that as well but we're going to put in this 98 silver proof today it is a very gorgeous coin let's add this end to the album and final year in this album final silver proof popping in there very cool now again unfortunately i did not get this 97 silver so i've got to find that one and i got to find a proof those are the last two on this page everything else is filled and then I got six empty spots that I will add something to. I might, you know what? I might have something we could put in there. Let's let's fill an empty spot tomorrow. Let me see what I got around here. But until then, very cool silver proof in the album. Today's quarter doesn't have a spot in the album here. And that is because it is a 1964 silver proof quarter. This one was minted in Philadelphia. Most albums start the proofs at 1968 when they went to San Francisco, but before then, most proofs were minted in Philadelphia, but uh, we are going to add this to one of the empty spots at the end. And here is the blank spot. This is the first blank spot on the final page, and we're going to pop in a silver proof there. And there we have 1964 proof silver coin. I do have five more spots to fill up. I'm not sure what I'm going to put into those yet, but we'll fill, we'll find some awesome coins to add in here. Very cool. Another silver proof to go along with the others we've just added. Today, we're going to go back to the early date of clad. We have a 1968 out of Denver. This coin will fill a spot in the album. Well, is it going to fill a spot? Let's find out and see if that's going to be a fill or not. And while it's not going to fill a spot, it is going to upgrade. The old one in there is a little slick, a little worn, and this one has quite good details. Not perfect, but much better than this. Let's go ahead and upgrade that quarter. I popped out the old one, and it is a little bit of a circulated quarter, but now we have more of an uncirculated quarter going in here. Let's get this album improved. Nice and shiny quarters as we can find them. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we have a nice 1950. This one is from San Francisco. This is pretty nice. It does have a little circulation, a few marks on it, and it does look like when it was struck, the dye that was used had some dye deterioration on it. But still, it is a pretty nice quarter with some luster left on it. Let's check it against the album. And it looks like we're gonna have an upgrade here. This coin is definitely better condition than the one we have in there. That is definite upgrade for sure. Let's get this coin switched out and take a good look at it. And here we have the album upgraded. Very nice coin, very nice quarter. The album's getting better and better. Let's keep on plugging in some coins in this album. Hey, it's quarter for our quarter album. We are going to be filling a proof spot, 1974S. The surface has a few little spots on it from uh, being in another album. But the reverse has a, some nice little tone up in the top corner, some nice little purple tone on it. But it still has that nice deep cameo finish. Can't quite catch it in the light, but it looks like a beautiful coin. It's gonna fill a spot in the album. Here we go. 
fill in one more spot in this album with nice proof. Another beautiful proof going in the album, filling spots and making the album that much nicer and that much better. Today's quarter for the album, we have a 1939. We're going all the way back to the 30s with a nice quarter, slightly circulated, has some good detail on it. Let's see, this one is from Philly. There is no mint mark on the reverse. This is a nice quarter from the 30s. Let's put it in the album and fill another spot. There is the empty spot. And we are now one more silver quarter filling up the first page. And this one is one of the nicer ones on the page. Very cool. Awesome silver quarter fill. Awesome early date quarter. Before we fill any more spots, let's take a break and look in, at each page and see where we're at on the album. This first page has probably the most spots left to fill, a total of six spots left to fill. The nicest coin on this page is this 1936. That is a very beautiful coin, but we do have some other nice coins in on this page as well. We just recently filled out 1939 with some good detail, but a lot of these coins will need to be upgraded at some point. Page number two, we got a really nice 1943 here, and this is where we start getting into some nicer quarters for all the dates. 1945S is probably the nicest one on this page as well. This page is only has three spots missing right down here. We'll be filling those at some point soon, but the rest of these, again, will need to be upgraded. For page number three, starting at 1950 here, we do have some really nice coins on this page. 1950S being the first one, but then around 55 or so we run into um, where we start really getting some blinkers. We have some nice toning on some of these as well. Um, and we only have two open spots on this page. You can see the 1955 there is a nice blinging white example of a coin. And then from there, they just start to get better and better mostly. We do still have some that do need to be replaced, but this is the first page of silver and that has a lot of nice stuff on it. Page number four has some beautiful silver coins. These are the last of the circulating business strike quarters on these years. Some of these that I have in here are gorgeous examples. Some of them have some gorgeous tone. And here is 64 is the last date of the silver and we start to get into the clads. We have some nice clads here, some nice proofs. This is the first page with the proofs. We are missing five coins on this page total. And we will be filling those up at some point soon. Very nice coins on this page. Page number five, we have a mostly full page of clad. We are missing four quarters on this page. A lot of these are pretty nice. We got some nice proofs. Um, there are a couple that could use some upgrades. This page also has the bicentennials and two of the bicentennials are silver. That's the business strike. And this is the proof right here. Really nice coins on this page. A couple definitely need to upgrade. Uh, 19. 78S is a very beautiful proof with some very beautiful tone. And that is it for page number five. Page number six, we have some gorgeous proofs and some nice clad coins. 
This is the only page in the whole album that does not have any silver on it. This is all clad. And look at that beautiful 83 and 82 proof there. Some really nice coins, but some do need to be upgraded. The best coins on this page is definitely the proofs in my opinion. We are missing five spots and we will need to upgrade a few of these coins. Page number six is missing four spots as well we need to fill. And the best coins on this page are the proofs. That 1987 that we just looked at is beautiful. So is this 89, just some beautiful toning. But the clad probably needs a lot of help on this page. I've had a hard time finding good clad in the early 90s. But the proofs, and here we start the silver proofs. 1992. So that is really cool to get some silver proofs late in the book here. Final page, page number eight, has a lot of nice proofs, has a lot of nice silver proofs in it, and some decent clad as well. We have two dated spots that we are missing. Both of them are proof, 97, and the silver, 97. The rest are filled spots here. We also have some undated spots down here at the bottom that we will be filling at some point. In 1998 is the last dated spot. We did stick a 64 silver proof in here, but we have more spots to fill. This is a gorgeous tone proof, and we do have some nice proofs in here. Two spots left, plus some bonus spots. Let's get those filled. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we have a 1997 proof. Very cool. This is a really nice quality proof, and we're going to add it in on the last page of the album. Okay, let's put this quarter in this album here. This is the second to last spot on this page. And there we have the 97 proof added to the album. I need the 97 silver proof to finish up the last page, but very cool. Very cool, nice proof. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we have another proof. I'm showing the reverse first because look at that nice, beautiful tone around the outside there. It's got a nice little yellowish orange tone with a nice little band of bluish purple there. This one is a 1985 proof. It's got a little bit of the same colors on the obverse. This is going to fill a spot very nicely. And here we go. Let's add this very, very beautiful, nice proof to the album. That is a great addition and filling another spot. Look at that tone. Very beautiful proof. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we have a 1977 proof. This is a pretty nice quarter from the 70s. It has a little bit of cloudiness on the surfaces, unfortunately, but otherwise this is a nice proof and it will be filling the album nicely. Let's go ahead and add it in the album. Okay, let's drop that in the spot. That is a really nice, another addition to the album. Very cool. Another spot filled with another beautiful quarter. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we have a 1937 out of Philly. This one is a bit worn. It is an early date silver quarter and we'll fill the spot till we get a nicer one. Let's go ahead and put it in the album. And here we go, filling another spot on the first page. Album is getting filled up quite nicely. We do have a bunch to upgrade, but uh, we're gonna keep filling spots while we can. Very cool. Nice silver quarter for the album. Today's quarter for the quarter album. I had thought about not adding this coin. This is a very, very slick 1936 out of San Francisco. Thought about it and I decided, oh, we'll go ahead and put it in here. This one is a very, very low grade, probably AG3 or Pour 2. 
on a scale of 1 to 70, 2 or 3 is pretty low. But it will fill a spot, and the earlier dates are harder to come across. So let's go ahead and put this in. The slickest quarter going in the album. I will be looking for an upgrade, but let's get them spots filled with what I have. Okay, here we go. Boop. And there we have the slickest coin in the album. It's still silver, and it is an early date, so that is cool. But uh, definitely need an upgrade at some point. Today's quarter for the quarter album. We're going back to 1946 with a San Francisco minted silver quarter. This one has some uh, toning on it. Um, nice thick around the, the edge there, but uh, speckled throughout. Speckling kind of hides some of the details on this coin. Um, but it has some decent details, probably about average circulation wear. Let's go ahead and add this to the album. Well, when I said add, Looks like we're gonna be upgrading. The one we have in here is pretty slick. This one has a little more detail, and since I have it out here, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade. Here we go, we're gonna pop that one in, and then just a quick compare, you can see how slick this one is. So it is a better, nicer coin. Um, I've been trying to hold out for some nicer coins for upgrades, but you know, since I had it and we were filming, might as well upgrade. Still, album does look nicer. And silver is still silver, no matter how it looks. Base quarter for the quarter album, we have a nice proof from 1993. This has some really nice colored tones on it. I think I can hit the light just there and you can see some of them. It looks so much nicer in hand. Look at that little gold orange on the back. This is a beautiful proof. If I hit it like that, and you can see that deep cameo on there. Frosty devices. Nice mirror-like fills there. With some beautiful tone on it. Let's go ahead and add this to the album. Fill another spot. And here we are down at the bottom of this page here. Let's get that popped in there. And there we go. Another beautiful proof going in the album. The album is filling up nicely. Getting those spots filled with some pretty coins. Very, very nice. Today's quarter for the quarter album is a 1994 out of Denver. This one is a little circulated, and the camera is picking up more of the surface imperfections than you can see in hand. But you can still see this is a quite nice shape, has a lot of detail left. As other than the surface imperfections, is uh, in quite nice shape for what it is. Um, I did find this in circulation and have not come across a nicer one. So this will fill the spot for now till I can get that nice mint state example. And here we go down at the bottom of this page, and there we have another spot filled. Not a bad coin to put in here, not perfect, but it will definitely fill the spot nicely until we get a better one there. This quarter for the quarter album, we got another early date, 1937. This one is from Denver. This quarter is pretty slick, but it is a nice old silver quarter. Early date Washington silver quarter we will be adding to the album. These older ones are harder to come by in nicer states, so this one will be a nice spot fill. And here we go. And there we have it. That is another old silver quarter going in the album. It will be a while before I get a nicer one of these because it is older. So filling up a spot with old silver is always a good feeling. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we have a nice... 1990 proof quarter. This one has that deep air fields and it nice frosty finishes. This one does not have any tone on it, so everything is just popping with the dark surfaces uh, and those white frosty details of all the devices there. Very cool. Really nice coin. Gonna fill a nice spot in the album. Okay, and here we go. Get that in the album. And there we have another nice looking Really nice proof there going in the album. Very cool. Ace quarter for a quarter album. We got a fun upgrade here. We got a 1976 Bicentennial. There is the drummer boy on the back. This coin has some really good details. May not be quite uncirculated, but it is in nice shape. This is a Denver. Little tone around the outside here. This will be upgrading in the spot. Let's go ahead and grab that spot and upgrade this quarter. Here we have the two to compare. This one is 
dirty and circulated. Nice one, but I found that circulation. This one is a nicer coin overall. Let's go ahead and get that swapped out. And just so you can see the difference in the obverse, there's the new one and here's the old one. Much nicer. All our other 1976s are reverse facing, so so is this one. And there we have a nice upgraded bicentennial. That is pretty nice, not perfect. Might upgrade that again if I could find a nicer one, but that is a pretty solid upgrade. Base quarter for our quarter album, we have a silver S minted 1948. That is a got some decent detail. Looks like it's been polished up a little bit, um, but it is still a nice silver quarter to add to the album. Let's go ahead and toss it in. And here we go. We'll drop that in the spot and take a nice look at it, that. And there we have a nice another silver quarter for the album. Filling up spots with silver is always a great filling. Ace quarter for a quarter album. We have another silver 1952 out of Denver. This is a little bit slick here, not terribly. Still has some okay detail in the face and such. But this is another silver quarter to fill a spot. And you can't go wrong when you stick a silver quarter in your album. And I drop that quarter in. And there we have another silver quarter filling a spot. It's always nice to put a silver quarter in your album. And even better when you find that nice one for the upgrade. Today's quarter for our quarter album. We have an amazing quarter to put in our album. 1932 this is a nice uncirculated example of the very first date of washington quarters this is going to upgrade the one we have in there this one is from philly and it is in great shape this is an awesome awesome addition to the album let's go ahead and toss it in there and upgrade another spot and there is the old one that's in there nice and circulated but that is the first year and we are going to replace it with this nice new one. Here we go. Amazing quarter going in the album. How about that? Very first quarter on the very first page. Very first year. And we have a doozy of a nice coin. That is awesome. Today's quarter for the quarter album. We're going to 1974 Denver. This one is a nice mint state. It's got a few surface um issues with it but it is a nice mint state coin and we are going to be upgrading this and 70 coins were hard to find in good condition especially the early 70s so this is a nice upgrade for the album and here we have the one we have in there does have some good detail but it is a little bit worn and has some surface issues to it we're just gonna be upgrading to a very nice example here okay here we go and there we have another Nice upgrade for the album. Not perfect, it has a little bit of a fingerprint mark, but that is a much nicer coin going in a spot that is a little harder to find in good condition. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we got a Proof 1986. This is quite nice. There's a little tiny spot on the surface there in the middle, unfortunately. But that is a very nice proof, and it's going to fill a spot in the album. Okay, here we go. Drop that proof in the open spot there. Then we have another nice coin in the album. Very cool. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we have another nice, shiny, high-quality, early date quarter this is 1942 this one is a philly this one is in amazing shape we will be upgrading this spot and making the album just so much nicer with a nice quality quarter doesn't take much to see how good of an upgrade that is well, let's get the old coin out of there and get this new nicer one in and here we go I'll drop that in and look at how nice that is that is awesome another nice coin going in the album a nice old silver coin today's quarter for the quarter album we have a 1988 proof this is a pretty nice shape it does have some surface cloudiness on it 
Um, but otherwise, this will fill up a spot in the album quite nicely. Let's toss it in there and get that spot filled. And here we go. And there we have it. That is a nice 1988 proof. I'm going to keep plugging these holes away and get them all filled at some point. And that includes the proofs. Awesome. It is quarter for the quarter album with pretty nice 1973 out of Denver. This will be an upgrade for the spot. It's not perfect, but it is quite nice shape. It still would be considered a mint state coin, so that is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and toss it in and upgrade that spot. And here's the one that's in there. It is a not bad for an early 70s. They are a bit harder to find in good condition, but we did find one in much better shape. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that. And here is the fun part dropping that quarter in and there we have a nice early date 70s coin upgrading the album it's hard to get the nice ones and from this era you have to look for them but they are definitely worth finding and plopping in the album is quarter for the quarter album we got another proof 1971 estimated proof this one isn't perfect does have a little surface wear on it but if you notice, it has a bit of a cameo finish. In the 1971s, where that is not common. You can kind of see it there, how the cameo is on it. The reverse, however, does not have the cameo. So this would not grade a cameo, deep cameo, for grading purposes. So it has to have cameo on all surfaces, and you have to see it from all the directions. But otherwise, that is a nice proof. We're going to add it to the album. Here is the spot. We're going to drop that in there. And there we have a nice 1971 proof. Not perfect, but it does have a little bit of cameo on the surface of the obverse. And that is always a bonus to me when you get the coins that aren't supposed to have the cameo with the cameo. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we have a 1992 proof. It's got a little surface issues on the obverse. Um, I am getting these pre-cracked uh, out from albums and what have you out of proof sets. So some of them are gonna have some issues with them. But the best part about this coin is this one is going to fill the last spot on page number seven, the first page that's gonna have all spots filled. How about that? Let's go ahead and plug this in and get one page all filled up. And here we go. This is the final spot that doesn't have a quarter on the seventh page here. And there we have it. Another proof added to the album. And the first page that is completely filled up. And here's a quick look at the page. All spots are filled. Some need upgrades, but we will get to those. It's awesome to have a page filled with seven more to go. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we got a 1965. This is not perfect, but it is pretty nice. Probably a low mint state example. Uh, this is going to upgrade the one we have in there. So let's take a look and compare and get it switched out. And here is the comparison of the coins. The one in there has a few more surface issues, some dirt on it, some grime. This one is just a nice cleaner, nicer example. Not much of a large upgrade, but it's still an upgrade. Let's get them switched out. Okay, here we go. We're going to drop this one in there. And we have a nice upgrade there from this 1965. Just a nice cleaner quarter. A lot less issues. And uh, you can't beat a nice, nice quarter going in the album. Today's quarter for the quarter album, we have a special edition, 1932. This is the Denver. This is the key date. This is the key date that is hardest to get for this series. Lowest vintage quarter and costly in high grades. I can't afford a nice one, but I did pick up this one. This one's probably in uh, VG, very good. And this will fill the spot in the album, unless I come across a nice upgrade for this one, which may, which probably won't happen. We're gonna fill the spot with this for now. And here we go. Let me get that put in there. And there we have probably the hardest quarter in this whole series to collect. Maybe one day we'll get an upgrade but I was uh, unsure I'd actually get this one and put it in here at any point. So just having one and getting it in here is a nice addition to the album. 
Today's quarter for our quarter album is going to be the first of three bonus spot fills. We have a 1965. This is an SMS quarter. Now, an SMS quarter was a special mint set. Uh, in 1965, 6 and 7, there were no mint marks placed on coins, no mint sets, and no proof sets sold. The only option was to get an SMS set. And we're going to fill a bonus spot with one of each date coin. So in 1965, the SMS sets came in an envelope. This one is sealed, so I can't open this one up for you. But in 66 and 67, they came in a little blue box here. And here is one of those. This is the 1966 set. The 1965 SMS set is going to go here. 66 and 67 are going to go right next to it. That is a bonus spot fill for the album. Very cool. Fun to add some bonus coins to the album. Today we're continuing on with our SMS quarters. We are doing the 1966 today. This is the special mint set quarter from 1966. No coins in 1965, six and seven had mint marks. So we are gonna put this in one of the bonus spots right next to the 65. Let's go ahead and add it in and fill another spot. And here is the second SMS coin going in one of these bonus spots. And so far, 65, 66 are in here. We'll put the 67 right here. Nice to add another special mint set to the album. And today we're putting in our final SMS quarter, 1967. The SMS sets only ran for three years. And due to collector's feedback and pushback, the Mint went back to proof sets and mint sets after 1967. So there we have it. This is going to be the last SMS bonus coin added to the album. We'll have a few more bonus spots for now. Let's get the 67 pushed in this bonus spot. And there we have the final year of the special mint set coins going to the album. We still have two bonus spots left to fill and we'll figure out what to put in those. But it's always nice to add more coins to the album and getting special mint sets in here i thought was a nice addition today's quarter for the quarter album a pretty nice cameo 1972 proof quarter here now 1972 i believe was the first year that the cameo devices the details there were uh more common on the proofs than they were prior so starting in 72 and on, you got a lot more proofs in this cameo, deep cameo type of effect going. Otherwise, this is a very awesome coin to be adding to the album. Okay, here we go. Got it in spot. We're going to pop that in there. And there we have another awesome fill for the album. Nice proof. Fill in a spot. We have one more spot on this page to fill, it looks like. It's the 1972 Philly. I gotta get me a nice one of those put in here. Let me see if I can find one. Maybe we'll fill that one soon. Today's quarter for a quarter album, we have a Type 2 1979. This coin is more rare than a Type 1 to find. Unfortunately, this one does have some surface spots. Not having to get a Type 2 mint set and break it apart uh, to get one of these out for the album is nice. The difference between a Type 1 and a Type 2 the mint mark here on the Type 2 is a bit more clear and more pronounced. The Type 1 is a bit more of a blob. Now, the Type 2 is more rare and harder to find, so it does hold a little bit of a premium over the Type 1. And unfortunately, this one is not perfect, but this will definitely fill a spot. Now, at some point, I'll probably be upgrading this, but until then, let's go ahead and add this in and fill that spot in the album. Let's pop this one in here. Um, and that does fill the spot in the album. And there we have the 1979 Type 2 Proof spot filled. Unfortunately, it does have the spots on them. It still fills the spot, and maybe one day we'll upgrade it. Until then, nice spot filled in the album. Today is quarter for the quarter album. I have a pretty circulated 1938. This one is a Philadelphia. This will be filling the spot there. Um, it is pretty circulated. It is an early date. I'm pulling out all the last few quarters that I have to go on this album. I haven't been able to get a hold of some newer quarters, nicer quarters. So I am going back to my stash of hole fillers. So we're going to be filling holes for now and then we'll upgrade later. All right. I'm plugging this 1338 out of Philly in here. 
It is pretty slick, but it will fill a spot. It is still silver. 90% silver is always better than no silver at all, slick or not. Um, we have one spot left on the first page, this uh, 1939S, so we'll, we'll have to fill that up. But that is an awesome silver could go in the spot. Still plenty of upgrades needed. And this will be one of those. This quarter for the quarter album, we have another silver. 1948. This one has some average circulation on it, probably middle of the road, some scratches and stuff. This one is a Denver. This will be filling a spot and will be another silver for the album. Okay, here we go. That is another silver added to the album. And the second to last spot on this page, we need the 47 right above it, the Philly. But we have it filled, another spot. This album is filling out nicely. Let's see what else we can put in here. Today's quarter for the quarter album. We're going to the second year of Clad with this 1966. This one is a bit circulated. You got some little nicks and scratches on it, but this will fill the spot for the 66. These are uh, a little harder to come by, nicer shape in the 60s and early 70s. So this will be a nice spot to fill for now until we get that better coin. Okay, let's drop that 1966 in the spot. And there we have another spot filled. In 1966, there were no standard mint sets, so you can't get nice and circulated coins from the mint sets, so these are harder to come by. The only thing out in uh, 65, 6, and 7 was the special mint sets, and it had a kind of, it was in between the business strike and the proof, and there were no proofs for those years either. So fill in a spot is nice, and that one's decent, but hopefully we'll find a better one at some point. Until then, we got a nice spot fill. Today's quarter for our quarter album, we have a 1971. This one is pretty dinged up. Still has a little bit of detail. Got some cloudiness on the surface. Uh, but this is the nicest one I've been able to get my hands on. So this is what's going in the album for now. Let's go ahead and add this in and fill another spot. And we are down here at the bottom corner of this page. I'm going to drop this one in and fill another spot. That one is definitely one we will upgrade at some point. But right now, we're going to fill the spot. Very cool. It's another spot filled. The album is filling up nicely. Let's keep on plugging away. Today's quarter for a quarter album. We have a 1939. This is an S mini quarter. This is going to be the final spot fill on the first page. So this will be the second page we have filled every spot with a coin. This one is a bit circulated, but uh, filling spots and upgrading are really fun to do. So let's get this spot filled and fill another page in the album. So here we go, filling the final spot on this first page, uh, which is really cool getting the first page all filled, 1932 to 1941. Nice. Now this one is one we're going to look for upgrades for, but uh, this might be a little bit harder to find an upgrade for being so old. Still, it's another silver quarter, another page filled, making progress. Let's see if we can fill some more pages. Today's quarter for a quarter album. We have a 1947. This one is out of Philly. This one is circulated and uh, has seen better days, definitely, but we're going to fill the last spot on the second page. So this is going to be the third page we have filled with the album, third of eight. So let's get this added in and get another page filled up. Here we go. Final spot on page two, getting a coin. That is awesome. Unfortunately, it's not much to look at, but it is still silver and it is filling the spot for now. We will have to look for upgrades for this one as well, but another page filled is an awesome fill in days. Quarter four, quarter album. We're going to fill the final spot on page three with a 1953 out of Denver. This one is quite circulated, but if you look right here in front of the bank, this one might be considered a spitting eagle. You can find these on just about any date. Um, this looks like it's a, it could be a die clash, but it is still a silver quarter and we'll be filling another spot and filling up another page. Let's get this added in and get that spot filled for now. Final spot on page three. Boom. There we go. And there we have it. That is another silver quarter filling another spot. And I believe this is the last silver quarter spot to fill 1964 and prior for this uh, Washington quarters. Nice to have. Very cool awesome feeling. Now let's get some upgrades going for the silver. And I want to give a very 
special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.